Hey guys, a uh, super cool question I get is how to have your angles tight. So these have been rolled and then glazed with a three inch angle head. So I'm gonna show you what I do after it's like this. If you're hand taping, you're not gonna have that much mud in there. This is just from the rolling and the taping. So the other thing when you're doing this, you're prepping for your next coat. So you wanna make sure it's tight. If you have it rounded out, you're gonna be coating next time and you're gonna be fixing things and floating stuff out and just end up with a mess. So I start on my top and I push in and then I'm gonna pull out. And then I go right here and I push and then I come down. And then same thing here, I just kind of push a little bit, make sure that tape is down. So there at least I have all my tape tight for the most part, I have all my excess mud out. So now I'm gonna come back again, I have this all the way in there. I'm gonna wait. Come right here. I'm gonna push a little tight because there's a little tiny wrinkle right there. I wanna get rid of that. And I don't wanna leave any excess mud in there because that's just gonna cause problems later. And then I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing again. Just kind of clean it up, make sure it looks sharp. And then clean up the excess mud. So I'm using a six. You can use a five, a four, anything like that. It really doesn't matter. I used a five for a really long time and I just switched to a six a, long, a while ago and I've just been using that. But you don't want to get into any of these areas. As you can see, I kept it pretty tight. With the smaller knife, of course, you can get even tighter in there. Um, but your angle head is going to leave your angles square. And you don't want to get in there and start digging out a bunch of mud because then you're going to run into a bunch of trouble later. It's gonna be shallow, rounded out, all sorts of stuff. So I just focus just on this spot, spot right here. And then this is taped, and then we'll come back later with the three and a half and then pick that. And if we were doing smooth, we would come back again and actually do it again. So hope that helps. That's how I pick mine and how I leave it. And then it gets just a quick sand in between. Thanks guys.